Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Right, so let's say hello to my latest 6 star rank 3 champion. Now, yesterday I did stream a lot and it must have gotten to me a bit. Because the last stream in the evening was extremely interesting. But I said something stupid and uh, it kind of got serious and uh, my viewers are absolutely amazing and awesome. And uh, long story short, if you don't have the time to watch the yesterday stream, is that uh, I ended up taking Punisher 2099 up to rank 3. Now, it was half jokingly, but Punisher 2099 long has been one of those champions that I do think community is overlooking quite greatly. I do think he has a lot more potential than many people realize. And uh, he might not have been the rank up that I make in other circumstances. I would have more than likely just uh, saved my catalyst for a later time and date. But I'm by no means upset with this rank up. Because I do think that he can put in work. And uh, let me showcase that. So first things first, obviously. Uh, this is going to come to show just exactly how valuable Punisher's uh, power control abilities are. So we can see, as I'm going to start striking him when I hit my full battery. And at this point, Winter Soldier is hardly getting any power. And that is without Color Tech Mastery. Should I have maxed out Color Tech Mastery, he would be gaining even significantly less power. And that is con considering the fact that this is a 4-star rank 5 champions. And rank 5 champions gain power faster than, let's say, 6-star rank 3 champions. That is to do with how power gain mechanics work in this game. So you can see that he has he's throwing his first level 1 way past the point I have dropped my level 2. And in this entire fight he will fill less than 3 bars of power. So rank 3 Punisher is capable of dealing 500,000 damage at the time opponent fills 3 bars of power. You can see that the second bar is going to come in second. And it's also worth mentioning that at this point, obviously, without the big armor break from level 2, I'm hitting significantly weaker. However, I am still maintaining my initial battery charge. It has never expired, it has never gone on cooldown. And even without that armor break, this damage is not the greatest, but the hit count is definitely significantly inflated due to the multi-hit special attacks. So I can see that that was fairly quick, fairly straightforward fight where Winter Soldier didn't even fill three bars of power. Now, we're going to be taking a look at uh, this cable fight where we have Static Blast Node. You can see that Static Blast Node is basically the most important thing here. Every time opponent throws that special attack, we lose a lot of power. And that typically is fairly tricky node because opponents fill power quicker than we do because we are hitting them. And if you are hitting your opponent, they gain more power than you do. Therefore, most of the time, they reach special attacks before you do. However, in this case, that is not so. Punisher obviously has his own tricks in mind. And uh, here we can see that I'm going to be well to my level 2 before he does anything. I actually should have just dropped another combo. Because thanks to Flare, this nearly finishes the fight. That was a big juicy crit and there was 46k medium crit. Granted, that is with player node. His damage is no slouch, but his damage is not the greatest. His damage is not the focus that should be made there. And we're going to take a look at it again against Agent Venom here. So the entire point is to finish these fights before opponents ever get a chance to activate that static blast node. And uh, we're going to see that it is not too hard. So I'm starting to strike him here at this point. I'm already nearly at 2 bars of power. Uh, here I also wanted to demonstrate the region. The region, unfortunately, is not the most powerful thing, but when you have to deal with stuff like uh, Flare, still kind of puts in a bit of work, still is doing something. Why not? Takes a bit of battery, but, uh, you know, better than nothing. Anyways, let's go for <laughs> another big level 2. 70k crit there at end, unfortunately, did not quite finish it off, but uh, another hit did. Now we're going to be jumping to a monthly Kowalier quest. And we know that tech chapter has that node whenever opponents are heal blocked. If they are prevented from healing, I gain furies. 
Now, here I discovered two things. One of them I was not a fan of, and that is the fact that passive heal effects do not let me activate my heal block. You can see here that heal block uh, will not activate from that passive heal effect. You can see that I gain the regeneration. He activates his passive heal and nothing happens. However, I still, still hit plenty hard. And obviously, Puncher also has that armor break that lasts a very good amount of time. That, however, in combination with another tech node, does inflict heal block. And at this point, obviously, I'm starting to gain furies and he starts to hit harder. But it's important to note that passive heal will not trigger your heal block, which is slightly disappointing. But let's see exactly how quickly Punisher can actually finish these fights if you get the Furies from get-go. So again, the same set of nodes, we're going to be going in there. We're also going to do the Domino fight. So again, this is in cab difficulty quest. Obviously, he does not quite have this amount of damage in a regular fight. So I'm going to make sure that my opponents do not get to throw a single special attack once again. So it only thing that I have to do in order to make sure of that is, uh, well, not hit them at first till I get to 100 battery charges. Here at this point, eight Furies. <laughs> That's a nice 50k crit. Why not? Few more hits, 19k light crits, and the fight is over. Now I can go up against a Domino, where, again, one of the trickiest things when you are fighting Domino is to work around her lucky mechanic and her evades on lucky mechanic and obviously yourself going unlucky. Now Punisher is a tech champion, so he can't go unlucky. However, Domino still can trigger her lucky mechanic. And with that, she can also continuously evade you, which is quite tricky. So here we can see that I did start striking her a bit prematurely, but still all that ca kept in mind, we can see that she's nearly here at a bar of power. I still reach my two bars first, can drop my level 2, which will obviously do absolute ton of damage, unfortunately didn't crit. And uh, yeah, we got her past one bar of power, which we could have avoided, should we played it a bit more carefully. And that was just about it. So that is exactly how useful these power control mechanics are. And there's more to it. Now I'm going to downscale my Punisher here a slight amount, just to show what I think could potentially work in high tier alliance war and something that I would personally love to try out. Now, Apocalypse is one of the most popular bosses and he's quite a tricky opponent. And one of the main reasons why he's so tricky is because his specials are tricky to evade. They can catch you and they hit very, very hard in the block. However, if five star rank three can get down this six star rank three Apocalypse, Without ever having Apocalypse reach a special one, then I'm quite sure that a 6 star rank 3 can tank a level 2 if need be, or level 1 from Apocalypse boss in the war. And uh, I do generally think that uh, Punisher might be a very, very good counter for Apocalypse bosses in war. Uh, I will try to find that out in off season. But uh, moving on to the last uh, proper bit of recording here. We're going to go to Tech Variant, because obviously, why not? Punisher's Tech Champion, we're going to Tech Variant, and we're picking a node that is kind of very indicative of the upsides of Punisher ability. Now, the rest of the nodes don't do too much. This guy has 239k health, and, uh, and he has uh, Enhanced Special 1, and special one bias. So basically the whole idea is to try and get the entire fight uh, done with him not throwing a special one. Now I will fail at that in this fight. I do not know why exactly this guy was gaining more power than the rest of them, but I will succeed in the next two. So we're going to see that. And uh, here we go. So I have easily reached my level two at this point, which I'm going to drop right now. I still have a fairly healthy amount of battery. Now we have armor break, so I'm going to be hitting significantly harder. Now at this point, uh, he has been pushed past the bar of power whilst he is at 30% or so. But that is all she wrote. Now he does trigger his region, which we automatically heal block, obviously. That's quite perfect. I drop my level 1 to extend my battery life, and the fight is over. Now I do not know why 
it didn't go down quite as quick here, but you can go against Darkhawk, and Darkhawks are obviously quite annoying, especially Enhanced Special 1, you don't want to take all their block damage. So let's see what kind of a solution Punisher shows us, right? The best solution against Darkhawk is don't knock him down, and ideally if he doesn't get throw special attacks, even better. Once again, I'm going to start actually hitting him once I am past 100 charges, which is right now. And we can go. So first combo already did a good chunk. I did get quite good crit RNG. And uh, yeah, two combos. Why not? He's being fairly passive. Don't care. I was like, I don't really want to knock him down, but I kind of feel like I'm going to have to. At this point, he's at 43% health, though. Right. Let's see what happens now. He's at 14% health, but then obviously we can just finish off with a couple of heavy attacks because heavy attacks conveniently stun opponents if I have battery as well. And uh, the last fight of today's video, showcasing the rank 3 Punisher, is gonna be against Mysterio. Now, obviously, I do have him synergized up here. However, he does not really need those synergies all that much. They do help in this context just to have the fights a bit quicker. The extended armor break duration hasn't come in play in any of the fights except for Winter Soldier Showcase. And uh, the starting battery amount is neat. The fact that you get extra like 20% of the battery, but all that means that you I would have had to stall for a few seconds later. Apocalypse Fight was a duel, so obviously there I did not have any synergies. But uh, yeah, so you can see that Myster Mysterio here as well is has been put in the bin before he has a chance to drop a special one, which is perfect for Mysterio fights. Now, obviously, color tech could significantly improve one shot's viability and much, much, much further extend his ability to strike opponents without them getting a bar of power because he reduces opponent's power gain by 90%. So there's still a bit left. But if we add in this extra 18% from Color Tech, then we could get it even further, potentially completely stop opponents from getting power if you are going up against, let's say, a rank 3 6 star. Because again, rank 1 champions, 4, 5, or 6 stars gain less power than rank 5, 4, 5, or 6 stars. So when I would be going up against anybody in Alliance War with maxed out Color Tech, I'm quite sure that they would never gain any power so long as I have battery and charge. So next mission is to get some uh, cores for tech and unlock the color tech. Because I do think some very interesting combinations can be potentially seen. But yes, so Punisher 2099 is my 27th 6 star rank 3 champion. Did not see this rank up coming. But I'm definitely not unhappy with the fact that I did it. So, huge thank you to everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please do me a favor. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit all the good buttons. And I will catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about